This is my dog. My dog's name's Halsey. Why am I telling you about Halsey? Well, Halsey's cute. He makes me smile. He's kind of tough. And I enjoy being around him. And Halsey, he makes me think a little bit of my watch. And this is my watch. So I've worn my Seamaster now from aircraft flight decks in the middle of the night to walking around beautiful stately European towns and I feel like I've really gotten a hang on it and I really kind of gotten to understand it. And this is a, really a watch I can appreciate. I love it. I've never seen a watch that can look so dynamic under various lighting conditions as well. Just look at this shift here. I mean you can see with that beautiful ceramic and the way things are polished, it looks very dynamic in unique lighting environments. One of my favorite things, hands down. The watch isn't perfect though, it definitely has its own flaws. I don't know if you can tell by looking at the bezel, but the particular model I have, it's not aligned. There's, there's definitely some uh, manufacturer error with the bezel alignment, but you know what? I'm gonna be honest, it really doesn't, doesn't bug me too much. I mean, when I look in the mirror, my nose isn't aligned. I smashed my nose to the ground when I was a kid. It adds character. I'm not saying that, you know, there should be overlooks with watch manufacturing, but a little uh, character here and there definitely doesn't hurt. And speaking of character, I absolutely love the way that this watch has air quoted, patinaed over time. Um, the scratching that you get on the buckle, some of the little scratches I get in the case, it makes it my watch. and. I know some of you out there are definitely those kind of guys that like to have everything pristine. But I could pick this watch up from, you know, a bag of other Seamasters and I could tell which one's mine because I know where the scratches came from. I've worn this watch every day now for six months and it's really something that's only an experience I can have because that one is mine. Another specific thing that I've noticed after wearing this watch for essentially six months now is the particular hue of the stainless steel that Omega uh, sourced for this watch has a warm feel to it that you don't see with a lot of other steel watches. Very unique. So after six months of wear, I'll start off with kind of some of the things I'd like to see changed on the watch and then go into some of the things that really stand out. Now, before I really start with uh, any shortcomings or uh, amendments to what I would add or take away from the current design, I would say that I would not to be honest, really want to see anything changed because it would it would really change the watch and while perfection doesn't actually exist, I think this is probably one of the closest things you're going to find or at least that I have found with my watch collection. So starting out, I think the watch could probably do with a thinner clasp or perhaps a, a lighter weight, uh, maybe even a tapered bracelet. Uh, it does add to a really nice balanced feeling on the wrist right now because the watch is relatively thin, it's not heavy. Uh, but it's a stout bracelet, so you do kind of feel an, an interesting um, balanced feel where it's not top heavy at all. Uh, so kind of unique, but I do think a thinner clasp would go good on the watch because the one that's currently on it is rather thick and chunky. Uh, some of the cool things that I've noticed, uh, just if you haven't purchased a watch from Omega, is on their website. You can get specific test results uh, for the actual watch that you have, see how it performed through the Metas process. So I, I found that pretty unique, and I, uh, I wish kind of some of the other manufacturers would incorporate that too as well. And then on a day-to-day -day level, just traveling around, going through different time zones, I would definitely have appreciated a jump hour hand feature, which they have on some of the other uh, Omega movements. Um, not a deal breaker at all. I definitely am happy, and I'm not really inconvenienced by the current mechanics of the movement. Uh, speaking of which, never seen a deviation of, of more than about two seconds a day um, and then I don't I'm not a watchmaker I'm not an expert with movements I don't know what causes it but I've also noticed that uh, occasionally uh, it'll keep more accurate time or maybe perhaps I'm just being more uh, attentive to how it's keeping time but um, if I wear it non-stop it's a very very accurate watch and that's super cool actually after kind of getting to know this watch, um, I guess kind of the backstory on how I got it in the first place was I ended up purchasing it just because it seemed like a cool watch. People were buying it. Uh, I watched a lot of reviews on it. 
I was looking for a nice high-end diver. I didn't want to wait the amount of time you'd have to wait to get a Rolex. And um, I found just a good deal right around my birthday uh, back in June. And I figured, what the heck, I'll, I'll go for it and I'll try it out. I thought that the helium escape valve was going to be something I didn't like. I thought that some of the design language, like the skeletonized hands, were going to be things that I didn't necessarily um, get excited about. But it all works. And when you actually wear the watch, when you're dealing with it day to day, uh, when it's part of kind of your life, I don't get the feeling uh, with a lot of the other pieces I have in my collection, even things like my, my Rolex Oyster Perpetual. When I wear that watch, I look down at my wrist with the, the Rolex on and I think, oh, I wish I was wearing my Seamaster. And that's what this watch is. I think it's your best option. So often in this digital world, we get caught up behind seeing photos and listening to what other people have to say. And I don't think there's anything that can substitute just kind of taking that plunge and physically wearing a watch or physically seeing it in the store. Make your own opinion always. Never trust what someone has to say wholeheartedly. And have an open mind. I mean, there's, there's definitely some interesting options out there uh, with things you wouldn't necessarily consider. That being said, uh, just yesterday, walking around kind of the uh, exchange out here in Germany, I came across a, a new watch that I ended up picking up. So uh, stand by for that Tag Heuer conversation that people get so heated over. All right, that's it for now. I'll talk to you later. See ya.